Guys, we're uh, we're in Tokyo, which is a bit random, but uh, visiting Tokyo for the first time, uh, hanging out with this guy. Most of you already know him, Tetsu, World Brewers Champion, amazing at coffee brewing. Uh, we're standing in his um, in his roastery, which is just outside of, of central Tokyo. Yeah. Do you want to talk a bit about that first? About myself? Yeah. The the, <laughs> the roastery, the lorry, the company, everything. Okay. Uh, Hi, nice to see you. I'm Tetsu, uh, World Brewers Cup 2016 champion. Mm -hmm. So already three years passed. <laughs> and then this is my company. And mainly this is just a roastery mm -hmm. and I'm using lowering 15 kilo. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is just a roastery and a little bit small carpet. Mm -hmm. and Usually I'm here and quality control mm. and not so many customers. <laughs> no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Okay. I mean, it's, a very, it's a beautiful place, no? Thank and you. It's, it's really fun to finally be here as well. It's the, the one shop in Tokyo that I would feel I would be really sad if I didn't visit. Yeah. So I was really happy for the opportunity to come and have the opportunity to see you as well. Yeah. Because you're traveling a lot these days. No? Yeah, yeah, for me, it was so surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I when didn't I tell him that I would come. So like, yeah, I was really surprised. <laughs> a, a good surprise, I hope. No? Yeah, really mm. good surprise. And yeah, you, you know, uh, I'm usually always talking about you. Uh, with oh. my staff, uh -huh. you are do like one this. of the great or best roaster, mm. and uh, now you are for me the best brewer. <laughs> one uh, of second, the best second, brewers. No. Yeah. Second, no. Not the best. You are the best. No. Thank you. Uh, we're we're gonna brew some coffee because that's what we do best. Yeah. That's what Tetsu does best. So Tetsu here. Uh, yeah, I, I will introduce ago. my newest brewing Tetsu has technique. A new brew method, <laughs> and yeah. uh, we're all very curious to see it uh, and and taste it. So we're gonna do that. Then we're just gonna do some uh, espresso as well because okay. you're competing in Barista now. That's the new thing. Yes, this last year I competed again mm. the Barista Championship, mm. and uh, I was ninth place. Mm. in Japan. Yeah, that's very good. No? For me, it's good mm. enough. <laughs> and this year you win? Uh, my target is top three. Top three. Mm. Yeah. That's a good target. No? <laughs> yes. Cool. Walk us through um, walk us through the brewing. Okay. We're going to let the water grow. Huh? So... Mm. So my newest brewing technique mm. is really it's easy really. as is so it is really <laughs> yes so okay uh, I will it. introduce let's introduce the coffee oh, as well okay yeah. so now I will use Burundi natural mm. but this is not released yet mm. Mm. but so this is just a sample lot mm. Mm. on the and, uh, on the cover uh, no this is roasted by loading mm. 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 Okay, and uh, I will use 25 grams mm -hmm. and uh, fine grind. Fine grind. Yeah. Which is very different from what you, you've mm -hmm. done previously with a very coarse grind. Yes, mm -hmm. my, oh, yeah, maybe, yeah, I think oh. this is famous <laughs> brewing technique for six method. Mm -hmm. uh, that used very coarse grind, but yeah, coarse grind makes coffee more acidic and now for me this, i want more sweet coffee mm. so now these days uh, i'm trying to use fine grind yeah. and to make the good coffee by fine grind size and now a uh, few weeks ago i finally i made the good technique mm -hmm. good recipe mm -hmm. by fine grain and uh, i will make it now very easy was it for you was it important that it would it would be easy or was the goal just to have the tastiest coffee and it happened to be very easy mm. 
easy and good taste. Easy and good taste. <laughs> yeah, sure. So th this is just is 25 grams. 25 grams of coffee. And, and again, very, it's actually very, very fine grain. Yeah. Yes, totally different. Which on the EK, on your EK, what would that be? Uh, five. Five. Yeah. And 95 or 96 degrees. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's important? Uh, yes. Yeah. And what does a higher water temperature do for you? Uh, to extract more ingredients mm. from the coffee mm. because yeah now you see mm. uh, this technique is using very short time short time, time. Yeah, <laughs> so sure. we need more strong extracting power mm. okay now very short time don't miss it <laughs> So I will use 300 grams of water, mm. so brew ratio is 1 to 12. Now, very done. <laughs> done. <laughs> so it's basically a 15 second pour, so you're pouring 300 grams in 15 seconds. Yeah. Very aggressively, 1 to 12 ratio, which is very compact. Yeah. Uh, actually similar, I used a 1 to 12.5 in Boston now, so kind of oh. similar. Um, so I think this is one of trend. I mm. think the small brew res mm. ratio and uh, a little fine grind, yeah. and to get more sweetness. So I think in the in this industry now, trend is sweetness again. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, always changing. It goes, yeah, it goes <laughs> back and forth. Some sometimes acidity, sometimes sweetness. Mm. Yeah. But what would you say? I mean, I, I guess most of you that will watch this video now is going to be, first of all, asking, you didn't bloom the coffee. Ah, uh, yeah. Or you can say only bloom. Only bloom. <laughs> like, basically. Yeah. Like, fair, fair enough. And so what we see here now, uh, and you guys unfortunately can't see that. We're going to see if we can do some pictures. But you have a lot of coffee now building up on the sides, yeah. which for a very long time, people have been like, no, 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 no. And is this, this is OK for you? Yeah. Mm, mm. Can, we, can see? we see? <laughs> I think we can see that. So this is really easy. So the total brew time here is, is one minute one forty. One thirty, yeah. Mm -hmm. So one minute and thirty seconds. Uh, Twenty-five grams of coffee, three hundred grams of water. You pour for fifteen seconds, and then you just let it go down. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's, it's easy easier through the history of the of coffee brew. That's amazing. And again, the the. Pitch here is a sweeter cup of coffee, right? Mm. And would you would you use this brew technique for for all coffees, or would you change depending on coffee or not, depending on roast? Not, or? I'm checking yeah. if I can use this technique to every coffee. Yeah, sure. But I don't recommend to use this technique for customer mm. because too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> too lazy. You should spend more time on your customers, which is true. Hmm. So sometimes good, sometimes not good. Hmm. But Do you think that can so be due to um, um, channeling or, or uneven water flow because of the pouring? Or hmm. I mean, I still think that tastes very good. Yeah, it's good, but... Hmm. <laughs> For me, uh, in my opinion, the using fine grind makes a little bit short aftertaste. Sure. Yeah. So I'm thinking about how how I can make long aftertaste by using fine grind. Mm. So this coffee has very sweetness mm. and very intense flavor, but. For me, a little bit short after taste. Sure, sure. Mm. What, what do you think about it? For me, the, the first thing that comes to mind would be, what about sifting this first? Uh, Taking out the finer particles? Is that something you, you like? Or do you think sifting is a, is a bad or good idea? Uh, I usually don't use shifter mm. Mm, because that makes less complex. Mm, mm, mm. Did, did you use shift? No, never. never. I don't like it. Yeah. I, I'm, I, say, I'm, I think the same that a sifter takes out too much complexity in the coffee mm. or too much layers. It gets too too clean, mm. if that makes sense. And competition, yeah. that's not good. It's also inconsistent. Yeah, I totally agree. 
your mm. idea. Yeah, Shifta makes mm, boring, <laughs> boring taste. Don't sift because it makes you <laughs> But it depends, of it, course. It depends, of yeah. course. I mean, I think it's still, you know, it, it depends on the brew method you're using and the, yes. the approach you have. But uh, I would agree with you as a general idea, I would not use any, any sifters. Mm. Should we, let's brew an espresso as well. Okay. Since we're, I mean, we're in Tester's shop, so we're brewing as much coffee as we can. Okay. And you are competing in barista now these days. Yes, so I'm, barista. now I'm practice. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you're competing now in end of July, no? Yes, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Mm, yeah, uh, actually, the not released. The ah, okay, okay. The usually. Mm, mm. So, espresso or filter coffee now, you brew very fast, low ratio. Mm. Is that something you do on espresso as well, or do no. you have a different idea? Actually, I'm not good at espresso. You're not good <laughs> at it. Okay. So, I usually use 90 to 20 grams in, mm. and out is 38 to 40. So mm. one to two mm. Mm. is my basic ratio. And it's in a 20 gram basket? Yes. Mm. Ah, too fine. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do another one because first one was a, a tiny bit too fine here. What are you looking for in terms of uh, brew time? Ah, uh, for espresso, mm -hmm. my target is 21 to 24 seconds. 21 to 24 seconds. Mm -hmm. Less than 20 seconds is a little bit short. Mm -hmm. uh, that idea <laughs> yeah I mean, I mean, this, is, this is amazing now i mean you guys can't see it but let's just talk about it no yeah it's basically it's, it's cold coffee outside yeah. right and the uh, customer can take it by themselves <laughs> so they come in and they leave like coins or or yes. like they pay outside and they have like a thermos and cold coffee uh, and then ice and then they take it and they can just walk away right it's a lot of iced coffee in japan no ah uh, yeah japanese mm. likes ice drink it's really interesting because we don't really have that in Europe as a thing. Oh, really? No, it's not. I mean, I think the I think the industry wants it to be, but the customers don't really like it. Mm. They still want warm coffee. Mm. Interesting. So, how much how much coarser did you run? Wow. Now I use one point eight. Mm. The previous one is one point five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, zero point three. Point mm. fine, uh, coarser. Mm. And what are you looking for in a in a tasty espresso? What's a what's a good espresso for you? Uh, sweet, sweet, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, and I think for especially for espresso, the most important thing is sweetness. Mm. Sorry, the good enough <laughs> taste. Yeah. Hmm. And we're brewing that. Is this on the same roast now as the filter yeah, coffee? Same. Mm. So do you normally do what we would call omni omni roasts? So roast one style, or do you roast different styles? Mm, actually, we don't separate the filter mm. roast or espresso roast mm. in Japan. Mm. Yeah, but so uh, for no one. Uh, or as a rule few, in general? Very few, few people. Ah. Yeah, so for me, uh, these few years I'm traveling around the world. Mm. So one that separate style is one of my interesting mm. points. Mm. Because in Japan, nobody... Traditionally, separate. you don't do that. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. I didn't yeah. know that. But now I'm trying to separate. Yeah. So for filter, roast mm. 
uh, a little bit lighter. So for me, yeah. it doesn't make sense. No. Just light roast or a little bit dark yeah. roast. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, there's a lot of different styles of light roast, right? So mm. it's, it's hard to categorize it that way as well. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna jump on a cupping here that is being set up for us here yes. by our friend Eric. So, uh, we're gonna make sure the coffee is not too cold. But uh, Tessu, thank you very much. Yeah, a you're pleasure. welcome. Beautiful shop. It's, thank it's you. great to finally be here. Yeah, and I'm uh, waiting for your coming. <laughs> everyone should come here. So yeah. book a flight to Tokyo, go out here, visit the shop, uh, and thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Thank you.